Hello everyone, this is Wanyan Park. In this video, we are, uh, we are simulating the, the simply support case with the beam mesh. Uh, first of all, in order to do that simulation, we have to um, edit our model a little bit. So please uh, follow my uh, procedure. So I would like to change the length of uh, this 100 millimeter is to be uh, 50 millimeter uh, in half okay and then i add one more beam on top of this okay so it will be a total 10, 100 millimeter so let me draw rectangular on that surface like that okay and then go feature tab and then extrude that profile it'll be 15 millimeter and you should make sure this merge result is unchecked okay so that means i would like to have the different separate model 3d model like that okay and then uh, when we calculate joints where joints are so uh, the joints gonna be three of them okay the here one is here the other is here and the last one is the, in the middle of this model so let's go to simulation and then open new study and go into static study so now let me click this one okay uh, I'm sorry right that and then click the treat as beam right and also this one click as treat as beam like that okay and then right click on joints group and then click edit now I have to select all that things okay click this one and click uh, change the select option and then uh, select two of them all two of them and then click calculate it gives the three joints like that okay and then click OK so now I have three joints okay so the fixed geometry gonna be here to here right but um this is simply support supported so I have to specify so the, the different uh, different one so not a fixed geometry click use uh, reference geometry and then my simply supported point is here and here these two joints and then what's the what's the reference is uh, any surface like that and then I want to specify all three translation is zero that means there is no translation but we allow the rotation degree of freedom at two joints all right click that and then I need to apply a force okay so click here joints option and then click center one and then my uh, the direction reference is this one and then click click that and then it'll be 10 Newton alright so click this alright it's ready to uh, mesh and run let me make mesh okay and then I look into inside so and then run it ah I I also missed uh, apply the materials I'm sorry about that and then here aluminum alloy 6061 click that okay and then apply so now I wanna move also so drop and drop that drag and drop and then run it so and then displacement and then uh, change Y component and then change scaling factor so now I have this the results of the simply supported beam bending but we are we were using the beam mesh instead of tetrahedral solid mesh okay so if you have any question just let me know thank you